Yes, guys, what is up? Welcome, welcome to Street Fighter 6 to get Wash World Warrior 2024. We're back at it again. It's a brand new season. It is a brand new season for CPT as well. So, yeah, dude, these new characters. We already have Akuma. We've got Bison already. We're looking forward to some more later on uh, as the season progresses. So, yeah, guys, it's, it's a great time to be a Street Fighter player. And uh, we had an amazing bracket today as well. Uh, 72 people more or less registered and uh, quite a bit of them showed up as well we've expanded our reach this uh, year for a uh, get washed we've included a couple more countries one of which actually has now qualified um or what not qualified but has made it into the top eight who previously was not able to play in these um from kenya uh Moz over there so yeah it is i sigma g19 i'll be joining you guys on the comms today the guys are probably ready to go any second now just chilling in the lobby and uh yeah as soon as they're ready to go we'll pop straight into the match uh but let's have a quick peek into the bracket real quick uh, to see what we are looking at so we've got illusions mark the shark up against will bartness we're gonna have uh bionic versus sunny that's gonna be our first match that we're going to see um then we're going to have uh, juju bean up against moz and then surprisingly we're gonna have jabby m on the loser side going up against uh naruto rsa so yeah guys if you wanted to have a look at the entire bracket you can go and i think it's start gg um it's a uh, star gg get watch 2024 or gw 2024 underscore number one and you can just change uh the one two three um the the number at the end from one to two to three to four to five to go and register for you know any of the other events the remaining uh ones out there remember guys that when it comes down to this um it's all about getting those points right it's all about getting those points it's a big prize pool at the end of all of this it's around um what uh, i think it's like six thousand eighty dollars or something like that something around there's a little bit less than before but it's still quite a bit of money um overall and this tournament on its own already has a two thousand rand prize pool each and every one of them will at least have two thousand rand and then you've got the big uh, dollar prize pool there towards the end so yeah as soon as they're ready to go we can go for it guys um it's it's gonna be a great one i'm sure shout out to everybody that has joined in and uh, is watching the stream and of course to each and every one of you guys that have played it's uh gonna be a great time it's going to be a great time i'm sure right you know bionic out here doing it once again you know at the very beginning of street fighter 6 in the first um get watched he made it into top 8 there at the very beginning and he's doing it again he's doing it again i remember during the interviews he was like you know i'm so happy to be part of uh, the legends the big guys that are, are are doing it you know and able to actually be among the top eight and now he is one of them as well you know he should be seeing himself as that particular in that particular light as well because once again there's so many killers so many strong players in this tournament from so many different parts of the region and um have a look at that you know um that's that's pretty interesting but anyway let's get in to the match right now it's gonna be bionic skin up against sonic going with the dj look some adjustments have been made to dj but he's still pretty good oh oh wow wow okay look the OD is uh, safe, so Sonny establishing early that he really doesn't care. He's close to getting burned out, but what a great, perfect parry there from Sonny. Happy to just ship Bionic out over here. How is Bionic going to make his way over there? Oh, what a poorly paced uh, slide over there from Sonny. Does get the standing medium punch. Not really able to get much out of it, but once again, standing medium punch will be enough. That will be enough. Sunny starting it off strong. Remember, all of these are first to three. The rest of the tournament are first to two, but the entirety of top eight, all first to three. All right. So Sunny keeping it really, really uh, simple at the moment. He just wants something, as it should be, right? You get something going, and then you just uh, 
You just steamroll your opponent. DJ, one of the best characters capable of doing that, has an amazing dry rush. Yeah, it's not short of any tools, really. I'd say. Able to cancel into his back sway from his right rush as well to throw you off. Really great setup here from Bionic, though. Nice stuff. Okay, straight into the level three. Good amount of buffs for Kim as a result. And it carries over to the next round as well. So it's all good. It's all all good. Oh, that could have been that could have been devastating. That could have been devastating there. Could have gone to level 3, but it's only not opting to level rock. Bionic fighting back. And this is actually a match that happened in the regional finals uh, sometime in November or December, somewhere around there. The two of them played in the loser's side. Uh, and that time, Sonny had come out on top. So, nice, perfect parry again. Sonny been on point with that today. Doesn't do that much damage, but... He's just keen to burn a Bionic out. Again, interestingly, does not go into the level 3. And again, ready with the perfect parries every single time, though. This time, level 3 solely. There it is. All right, all right, all right. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Da -da 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 all right. And the first game going to Sonny over there. All right. So what kind of response are we going to see here? from bionic dude uh-huh uh-huh drive rushing in there looks at the shimmy doesn't really get it but gets a throw instead and sunny's still pretty much dictating the pace of these matches so far bionic needs to start making sunny play on his terms gets a punish over there something small but it counts has uh sunny in the corner here Dangerous stuff indeed. Oh, that throw a little bit too early, but no real punish there from Bionic. Again, Sonny threatening with these slides from all the way out there. Uh-huh. Okay. Ooh, a little bit uh, too excited there with those um, jumping attacks. Nice slide over here. The burnout is probably the bigger threat here. And, uh, oh, the neutral jump oh, gets quite a bit of uh, drive back with those parries. Uh-uh, and this time, this time, Sonny is awake. Sonny is awake. He's like, oh, you were anti parry the last time? I mean, Kim does have um, Totsu, right? Doesn't really have to anti and Crouching Heavy Punch as well. Doesn't have to anti with parry. For some characters, it is the better option. Kim does have at least... Doesn't have a wake-up uh, OD move that she can use, but does at least have... And uh, air in wall move. Does get the level 3 though, so this is kind of looking similar to what happened in the previous uh, um, couple of rounds, right? Nice confirm there into the level 3. Alright, this time. Sunny opting to spend it. Alright. Uh huh. Uh. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's gonna hurt big time. No, it's not going to. But it is quite close enough to get the wall splat. And this is definitely going to be the end for sure. Indeed. Great job. Great, great job. All right. Oh, I saw Sonny crouching there. Why did he not bust out with the up kicks? Oh, man. And this is what exactly what Bionic needs. It's time to just run. There we go. Just run your, your Oki. Yeah, do it again. Oh, dude. I was ready for Bionic to just uh, go with the overhead one more time. And oh, my goodness. Don't let it happen. Not like this. Wow. And Sonny again showing no fear whatsoever. These neutral jumps. Not being called out. Oh! Oh! oh, 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 oh. Alrighty, 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 alrighty. Hold on. We've got a match. We have got ourselves a match. And oh, Sonny a little bit too early over there with those up kicks. But again, able to perfect parry these elbows so consistently. And you have to ask yourself, how is he so ready for that? He might be 3 for 3 for that right now. Okay. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, I thought that would be death. Punish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not the way. 
but Bionic needs to just calm down a little bit right now. He had a really great run, and we can see what he's capable of once he gets that hit. It's not really about this. He needs to play a little bit more patiently, just a little bit, just a little bit. Because, like, Sonny's not doing too much, right? Now he will. But, uh, oh, that's, that's part of the nerf. I mean, you can see that, you know, uh, Bionic was holding the parry there, but when you whiff the parry like that, you're actually in that animation just a little bit longer than before. Not really much of a choice. It had to go ahead and spin that level one just to try and stay alive. And does get the OK once again. This is where Bionic seems to shine. It's where Kimberly shines as well. Oh, really nice one there from Sonny. And again, again with the neutral jump throw. Bionic is going to have to stop with these parries as anti is. It's not a bad choice, but you've got to vary it up. Sunny has picked up on it really, really early. And yeah, we can see that where we're at, where we're standing at the moment, is that, yeah, Sunny's been able to capitalize on those way too frequently now. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No good punish on the slide over there. Bionic able to squeeze in a jab, and this time actually gets the heavy punch. Big damage for sure. Gets the setup. This time Sonny playing it a bit more patiently. Not a lot of drive on his side though. Nice slide. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's that's fine. But the problem is that now Sonny is burnt out. And as I say that, Bionic burns himself out as well. The jump out of the corner may have been able to actually get something there. Might have been just a little bit too low. I can understand why Sonny did not up to spin anything over there and chip is still so scary if a bionic wasn't even that scary i guess if you're just gonna get hit all right okay punish oh no oh no 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 okay i think they did like make some adjustments to the l version of that um the little command move that uh, Kim has, right? I think they made it a little bit better for usage in neutral, so that could have been, or just its usage in general. That could have been what caught Sunny off guard over there. He said, read those patch notes. Uh huh. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Uh huh. Not quite gonna be in burnout, but. Any little sequence will do it. Wow, really? That's how you feel? Been a lot of bar on that. Been quite a, bit, a lot of, uh, sort of bar on that. I mean, it would have been a great lead if it was right, right? So, but still, this is not a good look right now. Party time? Yo, still busting out. Sonny really showing no respect at all. He's willing to do it. He's willing to do it. Here we go. Again, Bionic. So consistent with it this time. Sunny with the defense, but not going to be enough. Oh no, the drop. Oh, and don't let that be the one. Don't let that be the one. Oh, and Bionic, keen to press. He's like, ah, oh, dude, I'm feeling it. If you're feeling it, I'm feeling it. All right. Aha! Great bait there with the elbow. Bionic, out here, he's doing it, dude. He's doing the work right now. Okay, may have been, hmm, I wonder what that was that Bionic was doing. Maybe he tried to jump and that's why he got clipped. There's the back dash this time. Okay, this is all that Bionic needs though. Okay, anti, yeah, 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 yeah. May have gotten Sunny the first time, but second time at that distance, pretty easy. Okay. All right. Calm down. Everybody's calmed down a little bit now. All right. <laughs> it's like uh, Sunny's like, okay, look, I just need one more round. I'll wait. I'll wait for a couple of mistakes. Bionic knows that this is. Uh, he needs this next round to stay in there, so he pick and choose his spots. And he's done so wonderfully. We've seen this level 3 so many times now. And once he gets his level 3, he's in a pretty good standing. Alright. Okay. 
Level 3 is available here for Sunny this time, so you know that the next big hit probably gonna hurt. Oh, Bionic saying, huh? -uh. I'm not allowing you to get away with those little twirls for free. I don't think Bionic can kill here, but this setup's gonna be pretty nasty. Maybe not. Oh! Oh no! Oh no! Is this death? Wait, what? Okay, well, yep, yep, yep. GG's. Hey, hey, hey! And Sonny! Does it in classic SS6 fashion. Damn, why is the score uploaded already? I mean, updated to 3 3 already. <laughs> that is my mistake. There we go. There we go. Well, there it is, guys. That is your first one of the day. It's gonna go 2 3 to. Um, 232 Sunny, right? So great job. Nice stuff, nice stuff, nice stuff. Tough stuff. Tough stuff, right? Definitely was not given away for free. And I mean, anyone that knows who Sunny is, he's been playing these games for a really long time. You know, came down here from UK. Um, yeah, to Cape Town. Back in the SF4 days, late SF4 days. Didn't really play a lot of SF5. Um but yeah he's showing up here in six and he's been performing really well throughout so big ups to sunny over there right but yeah you know close games sunny will be progressing to the winner's final side um and right now we're gonna have illusions mark the shark up against will bartner so okay this is gonna be a great one for sure a really really great one for sure remember everybody that if you want to check out the um, if you want to register for the upcoming get washed events right there are five in total i think it's your top three spots is really what matters the most this time they've changed the system just a little bit so if you get first three times you think you've maxed out your points um and yeah you really just want to try and get as many points as possible so that you can have a comfortable spot in that regional final. Of course, in the regional final, you're playing for the bigger prize pool and that shot for that shot to Capcom Cup, dude. Where you're gonna be playing for the melee <laughs> for a million dollars. Last year, we had Ren and Jabby go over um, and that was an amazing one to witness and I'm pretty sure they had a great experience over there as well and yeah this time it's only the world warriors that give you that opportunity at least being based here in uh, the southern parts of Africa right in southern Africa previously we had both this and the CPT online events but of course given that the on the CPT online premieres are no longer a thing it's they've introduced more offline events the world warriors are the only way right so yeah 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 guys let us see what's happening so just waiting for will and uh, mark the shark to make their way through there and then it will be ready to get on with our next winners semi over there I see all of you guys in the chat over there. I'm not able to catch up with everything going on, but yeah, if it's your first time viewing, uh, yeah, welcome, welcome, welcome to, uh, you know, our stream over here. We are definitely, definitely very, I hope you guys are enjoying it as much as we are. We're super excited to be seeing some high level SF6 once again, you know, and it's for all the... Well, not quite for all the marbles, but we're working our way towards it at the very least. Um, the next one will be happening again in this month, right? So we have two of them happening this month. And then following then, I think there's one each month thereafter. I'll just pull up the exact dates for you guys while we happen to be waiting um, for these guys to enter into our space over here. So... We're gonna have uh, the next one on the 27th. Yeah, we wanted to make sure. 27th of July is for World Warrior number two. So it's gonna be GW2024 um, underscore two. 
next one will be then on 17th of august uh then the 28th of september and then the 26th of october so please please guys make sure that you get in there right did you get in there and uh play right we want to see more representation as well i haven't i don't think anybody from angola into the tournament uh, or tanzania either so yeah hopefully we'll Gotta see some more of that Come on. um in the following events right anyway back to the match at hand so we're gonna have uh mark the shark out here who played really really well in uh, so many of these world warriors they actually won um world warrior number five i think that was the one and that was a big deal at the time because he really needed those points and well of course who had quite the amount of points he was our top seed last year right performed really really well throughout the entire season so uh, let's see what these two can bring to us today all right both a little bit low on drive not not too willing to overcommit. Oh, that was a great walk under there from Will. It nicely identified the jump in. Not able to perfect parry, unfortunately. That's a dragon lash, and that gives a mark the party starts. A good punish over here. No, not good enough. I cursed it slightly. Maybe a bit much, actually. Okay. Oh, but the burnout probably going to be the death. Oh, I don't know about that one. I guess that Will was not keen on taking whatever the mix-up was going to be and not busting out with a super or anything. Could have done it a long time ago. And I... Wow! Unfortunate there for Will. A great stuff there for Mark. Here come the jabs, though. Okay. Duh, duh. Nice. Good setup. I wonder, is it the lightning legs must be like a frame kill, right? Great corner control here from Will. Mark trying to fight his way out. Does get it. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. And there's the new buff. Crouching medium kick goes into run DP now. Oh, what a bait. Yeah. Oh, but the punish not quite there. What? And Mark finds himself in burnout once again. Does have quite a bit of bar available though. You can see he's looking. He's waiting. He's keen. He's looking for a DI or something. And jumps right out of the corner. Not keen on dealing with any of that smart stuff here from Wall. I think that might just be close enough to kill, actually. Worse from a dab. Oh, man. It's not quite enough. Ball available. Oh, my. Is it going to be? Oh, man. That was scary. <laughs> I got scared, dude. I was like, damn. Don't let it happen again. Right? <laughs> But again, nice blocks here for Mark, though. Good interrupt as well. Okay. Okay, okay. So, we'll not keen on taking the Jinrai... Uh, I guess you can call it a bit of a mix, but now Will finds himself burnt out, which is super, super scary. Wow. What a jump out there. No real cross cut or anything. No response here from Mark. Still just willing to find his way with these Dragon Lashes. And just as Will gets the bar, he goes for the Wake Up Drive reversal as well. This man has been keeping a really sharp eye on his bar. And that was a good air in the um, air legs as well. Tries to bait out the DP. Mark wasn't biting at the time. Hasn't really been showing a lot of like willingness to anti-air. Jumps himself into the corner. Very interesting. And Will just wants to get any sort of pressure going over here. But Mark saying, I'm not going to be playing with you. I'll, I'm chilling. I'm waiting. And I'll just jump away from this wall. I'm not getting DI'd. Okay. Great, great tech, dude. Amazing stuff here for Mark. Oh, gets the jab, but nothing from it. Two bars available. Three here for Mark. Two for Will. A fireball from this range. It's gonna happen. Oh, man. But can Will kill, though? Oh, dear. It's not enough. And there it is. Will, my God. Guys, please, it's only winner semis, man. You, <laughs> it's only winner, it's only winner semis, okay? That being said, this could have been very easily like a grand finals or something as well, right? Competition is tough these days, guys. Competition is fierce. You gotta bring it. You gotta keep it clean, or you're gonna get washed, one way or the other. Okay. 
Hazongshu was a little bit, a little bit too late there. Wasn't able to get any sort of damage over there. Okay, great tech, yeah. Oh, walks right into that fireball over there. And so far, Will has not perfect parried one of those dragon lashes, so I don't see a reason for Mark to stop doing it. Will has been like okay to give up two balls of drive gauge, which is kind of. It's kind of terrible for Chin because she really does make a good use of the bar, right? She really, really needs that bar. Um, especially if she wants to get a really nice Oki. Then kind of... Yeah, kind of needs to use that. Not always, but yeah. It's definitely a resource that she does not want to be without. Whereas Ken, on the other hand, I mean... He just needs any little look confirm and one totsu into the corner, right? Into the tog combo, one totsu, whatever. But that being said, Will controlling the corner right now. Will he be able to? Oh, maybe if Will had pressed the like button, he would have been able to convert from that. Again, goes with the wake up drive reversal. Not keen on dealing with this. Whoa, what? Level three? Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. <gasps> Alright. And Will is not making this easy. I would not expect anything less, but it's... it's it, this is... this... It's rough, dude. He's not giving anything up at the moment. I love to see it. Okay. No reaction here from Will. Gen Rai loops, yeah, big damage. Into level 3. Nice stuff. Nice, 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 nice stuff here from Will. What a response, dude. That's a really, really strong response. Worth the perfect as well. Look at that. Look at that, dude. Oh! And then, the Spirit of the Flame. Ken's theme pops up as well. Kind of feeling it there. For Mark. But not if Will has got anything to say with it. Great response here. These guys are really going back and forth. We love to see that little, you know, that little conversation that the two players have. It's like, listen, dude, that was nice, that was cute and all, but how about this? Right? I'm taking up this space now. How do you feel about that? You know, it's it's really nice to watch. Yeah, this is a great. We'll burn him out. Oh, just about, but the corner positioning is great as well. No real punish there on the Hazan and Mark just keen to keep this position. Okay. At this rate, yeah. Well, he's got to kind of back off there. Just in case. Because he can't really take any he can't really take any damage right now. Great neutral jumps and oh man. Just a little bit miscalculating the drive uh, replenishment a little bit too late there. Okay. That wow. Seven seconds into the round. This is gonna burn well out though. Well going to the level two as well, so yeah. It's a good position and all. I just you know being burnt out even with the lead is so scary. Sometimes having the just like a little bit of drive could be better as well. But ah it looks like you can see Will just backed off completely. He was willing to just wait. He was willing to just wait. And again, almost close to being burnt out. Somehow Mark has the drive lead. And it's because of that. It is because of that drive reverse. That was a great shot me though. Nah, not able to punish that now. I don't think that it is anything that he can do. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. I respect the idea. I respect the idea. But it was just, it wasn't gonna happen. All right. Okay, okay, okay. Mark taking control of the set now. Light kick into DP doesn't go quite go for. It. Maybe wasn't really fully believing over there. Okay. Uh huh. Uh 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 uh. Da da. Okay. Nice walk under. Well, it's been so consistent with that, dude. Okay. 
Mm hmm Parry, parry. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, Wool has definitely slowed this down quite a bit. He's more interested in capsulizing on mistakes right now. But you can't slow it down completely. That was a really clutch jump. A really, really clutch jump there from Tunum. A surprising fireball, I'd say, from Mark. Burned himself out. Didn't have the drive to really run through it. I guess he wanted to trade burnouts, right? He was keen to go burnout for burnout. And then maybe just drag him last his way in. That's how a lot of his offense has been getting started over here and again will has not been able to respond with the di quite a bit on his mind right now and the corner oh yep yeah, that is the punish yeah yep 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 crouching medium punch six frames that is the one to use great stuff in this time mark not letting that his on shoot go unpunished. All right. And Mark out here working on another perfect again. No DR response. Yeah, I would do it again. Just keep doing it. Just keep doing it. I mean, that one was uh, just to burn him out, right? And whiff there, but yeah. There's no reason not to. Will has not shown any response to the DRs today. There's the Dragon Lash once again. Will there be another DI? Yes, there will be. And Will needs to, he needs to go and tip that one out. Not able to respond to any DIs at the moment. Not the one that you want to see. But hey, great job here to Will. I mean to Mark, excuse me. Wait, what? Wait, what? It's three, why are they playing again? Okay, no, they're just, uh, they realize that they made a mistake. <laughs> yeah, all right. I was like, well, what is going on? These guys just want to play, dude. <laughs> These guys just want to play all day. <laughs> it's battle lounge to them, dude. It's battle lounge. I get it. I get it. <laughs> I get it, guys. All right, all right, all right, all right. Well, that being said, that gives me a second here to get our next match underway. So it's going to be Juju Bean, Peanut Juju Bean, up against Moz from Kenya. There we go. This is going to be a great one, guys. So yeah, you know, each and every time we have these things, it's super super this is going to be our losers round one okay so we're going to go to our losers round one we'll do losers round one uh and two right in our top eight then we'll go to winners finals quarter finals semi lo uh, losers final and then grand final in that order right um so yeah you know it's really important that we try and get is you know try and broaden the base as much as possible and um to get more of the you know african participants in there you know all of us need to be in there as much as we can play and be inside there um inside the bracket it's um it's really important so we try to expand a little bit it's not always super easy but um yeah we were able to expand some more and look at that was now in this top eight i mean he's been doing well right he's been since the very beginning he's been always been a strong player and uh yeah i'm glad glad that the regions have now enabled this to be a thing on the cpt stage all right all right so let's get it dude the jp Right, the JP versus the J me. <laughs> All right, the departure up there into the departure window. Just out there putting up some portals and stuff. I'm not so sure, you know. Oh, playing Jamie, I know Jamie received a couple of buffs. Right? Oh, why does it still say winner semi? Excuse me, excuse me. I had changed that. I'm not sure why it says winner semi. Um, 
I'm not so sure what it's saying that does. Let me see if I can't fix that for you real quick. Oh, I'll fix it later, right? Oh no, there we go. Loses round one. <laughs> there we go. Sorry about that. Oh, and I missed like the whole first match, but in any case, right? So, yeah, I'm, I'm not so sure about playing Jamie in this matchup, dude. Feels rough. It feels hella rough. I mean, look at this. Yeah, trying to force your way in over there makes it safe. With, uh, you know, the, the drink. But what did it really mean in the end, you know? What did it really mean in the end? Um, it's tough. It's tough. You know? Well, I mean, look, once Amy can get in there, it's he can do, it does as well as any other. It's just that having to give up, like, your OK or whatever for... Not in that particular instance, though. But for a drink or two is not something you want to do against somebody like uh, JP. You never want to do that in general, especially not in this game. A lot of characters don't need to do anything like that. No response from Juju Bean on the, the window, right? You need to have those available as soon as you see um, JP disappear like that. And you can see where the portal is. You need to be ready to answer. Yeah, you can do that on reaction. Juju Bean has not been ready today. At least not so far, right? Anything can happen. Okay, sit up. Oh, okay, this time. Has the parry available then? Okay, here we go. Yo, Juju Bean going in, dude, as you should. Yo, sneaks in another drink over there. All right. Okay, looking for the semi, not quite getting it over here. Moss keeping it together. Is this gonna go into level three? No, Juju Bean still keeping it together with a sliver of drive though. Not anymore. And this is probably... Oh, wow. Wake up, Amnesia. Wake up, Amnesia. Juju being saying, nah, dude, be good. I'm neutral jumping on you. It's, it's an ease. Okay. All right. Yeah, this is where most would like to play, right? Yeah. You come to me. I'm really not interested in playing with you at all. But Juju Bean making the... He made the journey. And suddenly in the corner, there's the anti -air. Yo, let's go, dude. Uh, 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 uh. Gets a drink in there. Juju Bean. He's kind of doing it, man. All right. Thrown into the corner. Sets up the portals once again. Oh, okay. Happy to take the risk. I like that. But that is what Juju means. It's like, he's like, listen, it's fine. I can like just force my way through the portals or whatever it is that um, JP ha happens to be doing and then drink it up. I'm okay with that. And I think that's not a bad, it's been working out so far. Right? Well, on the back foot, suddenly. Great parry over there. Oh man, I don't think that, I don't know about the burn art decision here though. Could have been a little bit of autopilot, but one hit. One hit, good seal. And I, oh, dude, that was only one special into level three. Is this dead? Is this? It could be. Oh. Oh, dude. Tragic. Tragic, dude. You hate to see it happen. You hate to see it happen. Set it up. All right. But I like this. I like this from Juju Bean. He will not be stopping. They'll make their approach. They're getting in there. No DI in response. That was actually a punish. Okay. Yeah. I love this. You can see this is not a player that is broken by something going wrong previously especially when you had like such a healthy life lead right and the great position and all of that takes it in your stride and you've got to do that something you have to do when you're playing at this kind of level with these kind of stakes uh uh takes that third a drink in there wonder what it was for though yo trying to force in with a palm oh the chip 
I think that Judavino would be okay to take the chip, right? Something like he can die from this? Oh no, and the anti it wasn't then. Once again, another another sad story for Juju Bean. Is this gonna be our first wash for the day? We no one's been washed before. It will be our first wash of the season as well. There's the DR response this time from Moz. Okay. Goes into level two. Is he gonna side switch? Yes, indeed. Oh, and this is so terrible not here for Juju Bean. Not a lot of options available to him. It's basically, when are you going to level three? And if you don't, you're probably going to get DR'd. I don't even think that Moz is willing. Uh, or it's not even necessary for him to take the risk. But hey, 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 hey. This is great. This is great here for Juju Bean. Right? But a bunch of dro oh gets worth punished and it is actually going to be our first wash of the event dude and of the season damn so juju bean going down at three zero to moz it's a wash it's a wash we out but well played to juju bean it's the first time i've really seen him play and um yeah he did a great job in the in get washed today right he did uh, a good amount of work um so yeah big ups to big ups to him oh looks like some people so ss6 sometimes uh <laughs> will kick a player from a lobby if they're deemed inactive so i just need to get our stream machine back inside here right cool sorted and yeah our next match is going to be none other than goliath gaming's jabby m up against charlie wolf gaming's naruto warrior say now guys it's like you know seeing these two players in the loser side it's uncommon not something you see all the time definitely uh, you know, first season, first tournament of the season to see Jabby in the loser side probably has a lot of people, um, you know, surprised about that result. I actually went to drop to the loser side by Marco Dago, right? Marco Dago, who I believe plays Dalsim, played Dalsim back in SF5. Uh, had a really good Dalsim there, and I mean, you know, probably has a really good one now. So, big ups to that community of they're doing quite a bit of work. You know really 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 um doing it out there right dudes are working out there leveling up you know it's it's really happy i'm really happy to see that i am really happy to see that because it just goes to show that that the level overall in our region is increasing it's increasing all the time there was a time where you know people were not we were not certain if it was possible to roll with the best that time has passed it is now the time is now oh oops nobody's getting washed here or hasn't been washed yet anyway but we can wash ourselves back <laughs> we can wash ourselves back to the actual match over there all right so jabby using the chun li over here um and naruto with the akuma now me personally i feel like akuma is the strongest character right now that's just how i'm feeling but you know playing against jabby i guess it's tough it's tough to make it look that way first it is the first round after all right but you know uh uh uh, 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 uh. Okay. Yeah, nice response here from Javi. Yeah, keep it simple. Oh, what are you grabbing for, dude? So, you know, it's great. It's all good when Akuma is in control, but he's health, dude. Oh, no, a big drop. Oh, what? What? Hello? Round one. Fight. 
Wow, okay. <laughs> no, 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 no. All right, folks. That's how we do it. That is how we do it around here. Jabby doesn't care. He's like, listen, dude. You can impress, I know it, dude. Ah, you can impress, and that could be the mind uh, cracking one right there. That could be the one that sets the pace early, right? That could be the one. Yeah. Jaggy feeling a little bit angry, dude. He's not happy about uh, what happened earlier. He's like, yo, dude, listen. Let me. Let me just make my way to the finals real quick. If you'll, if you'll excuse me, yeah, not allowed. None of that is allowed. Either you do a two block string um, or you DI or something, but someone that's waiting with uh, the reversal, if playing against somebody that knows, you're not going to be able to drive rush into something fake. There's no reason not to, or very little reason not to do an invincible move in those situations. Oh, no conversion. You can see Naruto was looking for the jab into the level three. Yo. Is this gonna be a winner's final 80% run? Or a loser's final 80% run from Jabi? Could be. Could be. That's two rounds already, dude. How? Okay, looks like we're gonna have a little bit of a a mental reset there a little bit of a quick mind reset over there look akuma is a new character i believe for naruto the last time i spoke to him he told me that he will be trying out akuma once he drops he was riding with ryu for the longest time but it does seem like it does seem like He's just going to continue with uh, the Akuma, which I don't think is a bad idea. I don't think it's a bad idea. Right? Nothing that Ryu can do. Very little, I believe, that Ryu can do that Akuma can't. So, this is not a bad idea at all. Just needs to, uh, you know, win in the neutral. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, a little bit too predictable. And Jabby's been ready with his own shoe quite a while. Has a decent understanding of what Naruto's fireball pattern is like. And getting that down, right? Getting that down, altering your fireball pattern even just slightly is enough to throw your opponent off. Um, so yeah, something that you really got to look into. Great parry there from Javi. Okay, no conversion there. Or further conversion, unfortunately, from Naruto. It was a forced knockdown. Not quite going to kill, but... Wow. Learning to spin the bar as well. Mm, not looking good for Naruto at all. Really, really, really. Okay. Uh huh. Mm. Is it is Jabby looking for the Azonshu? He's just chilling. Yeah, he's happy to just push himself up. What a perfect parry into the punish. Alright, so it takes one throw. Jumps out. Oh, you can see Jabby was kind of looking for that air throw. He's looking for that jump as well. Okay, here we go. Control of the corner now. This should be Naruto's time. If, if there was any time for a momentum shift, it would have to be now. Okay, here we go. How many more is Jabby willing to take? Well, how many more? Looking for the shimmy. Jabby not giving it. Gets a crouching medium kick. Has three bars available. Wants to save it for the win. Gets the shimmy or rather gets the throw bait but not really able to do anything out of it. No whip punish on that forward medium punch from Chun Li. I believe that they did put that out there for a little bit longer. Oh, that time. Jabby. Wow, what? Okay. No, what? Okay. Okay, I'm not sure what happened there. <laughs> yeah, alright. Well, we're still in it, right? Naruto is still in there. Wasn't quite ready to punish over there at the time. And wow, that's gonna hurt so much, dude. That is gonna hurt so much. Look at that. 
Wake up drive reversal. Plus frames, yo. That's gonna burn out. Alright. Wow, the jab. Don't you dare throw fireballs in my face. Okay. Scary times here. The Azonchu is something. Wow, again. Okay, big punish time. Big punish, yeah. Into level three. This is a good this is a good decision. This is will store that drive. And uh yeah, but you know Dabby, he's gonna be ready with that uh super for the DI. <gasps> no look up DB! Oh no! It was a bit too predictable! It was a bit too predictable over there. He wanted to test it. But Javi was ready, and that's gonna be 3-0 over there to Javi, right? Oh, what a, a strong, a strong three rounds, or three games there, rather, from, um, from Javi, you know, was in control all the way, all the way from the very beginning. Uh, but yeah, a great start for Naruto as well in the season, you know, get some points early. A lot of people were not able to make that many points, uh, at the beginning of last season for various reasons not making that mistake this time and uh yeah you love to see it you love to see it happen right so yeah right now we're going to go to our winners final though it's gonna be um sunny up against illusions mark the shark right so this is gonna be our winners final and yeah, guys, I really hope that everyone is enjoying the stream as much as I am watching these matches as well. These guys are putting in, on an amazing show for us today. Um, oops, 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 oops. <laughs> accidentally, I accidentally jumped into the lobby. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not the one playing today. <laughs> I accidentally jumped in there. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah waiting for sunny to jump into the lobby right now um and yeah but really guys it's been a great time remember if any of you want to join in on these please do right please please do it's free to enter okay there's a 2000 rand prize every single time okay um, and of course you earning those world warrior points, which is the main main reason to jump into these right You're gonna be earning those world warrior points To get yourself Potentially into that regional final so that you can win a bigger part of that the prize pool and of course To get yourself all the way to cap come cup. All right, so please make sure that you register for those start.gg um has all of our matches over there, all our tournaments listed over there. And we'll watch ourselves all the way back to the next one. Oh, let me just uh, swap these names for us really quickly. There we go. Right, so Bison, I think it's our first Bison that we've seen today. And uh, what I'll say is, is that I think Bison is one of those characters that, uh, you know, oh, this is gonna hurt. Probably gonna try and put up that mine at the end of this combo. This is a small combo though, but oh, the semi is good! Will it be able to kill? Level one? Wow, doesn't even opt to spin it. Believes in his ability to win this round without it and was a good choice as well. So, interestingly enough, Bison is actually one of Sonny's main characters, if not. Yeah, is it between this character and Boxer, right? And uh, so he's probably super happy about uh, having his character back. And he does play Bison does quite similarly to what he has in the past, right? Scissor kick being super, super strong, but unfortunately, this is where Bison struggles like many characters of this nature, where they have a really strong presence in neutral, but unfortunately his defense is lacking quite a bit, and that's not, not quite it yet, but man, how many throws has Sunny taken? Not so sure what those uh, medium punches were like over there. Why does it say? Yeah. All right. 
yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that's minus three. Yeah, you'll see that's one not keen to challenge over there. So, crouching medium punch into light scissors. Light scissors is unsafe. It's at minus five, but you can space it correctly to make it safe, right? That's the only real um, meted defense or drive related defense that Bison can use, but beating drive reversal is so easy, so yeah. The drive is a factor here, and oh dear. Oh dear. It may have been. It may have been his character, but uh, Mark out here saying, listen, dude. I play Ken, I know what's good. Ken's still super strong, so yeah, I don't really care about you or your boss, and I'm in there. There's the parry, though. Throwing Mark right back into that corner over there. Plus frames all day long. Plus once again. Good anti air there with the hell attack. Yeah, though that string over there. You can beat that by mashing if they do the overhead, but if they do the low, it will be a counter hit. And it will give Bison a combo, right? So it's like medium into overhead or medium into like the low. And the low on counter hit is pretty plus. I think you can at least squeeze a jab inside there. It's only minus three on block. Definitely very scary when used with um when used with the mine right and yeah that's what i was just about to say so if you watched over if i've referred to like a match between like go one and pretty much any like character that throws a fireball i've just seen go on react to the any fireball from like full screen with the uh, ex psycho crusher every single time it's like so not allowed you're not allowed to read from fireballs from all the way out there and even if you're like sort of kind of wrong you still get the you're still safe anyway a nice block there from mark the shot okay uh-huh oh all right all right yeah. Ooh, okay punish doesn't go into level three looks for a little bit more sunny goes right with that keen to take the mix Whew. okay yo he's just going with these raw shadow rises dude oh and that is what mark needed he'll go into level three here what oh he went for the little setup instead and that could be his undoing any little sequence into <laughs> and mark knows it very well any sequence he's buffering that you're looking for that into level three wasn't quite ready for it that time though you can see that Mark was like mushrooming. He's like, yeah, just do it. And I know, I know you want to do the full screen thing. I can see you feeling it. Do it. Man. Uh -uh. That is another weakness as well. Is that even though that crouch heavy of uh, Bison's is pretty decent, it's kind of slow. So your anti has to be quite good. You know, obviously certain ranges where it doesn't work well. A cross up range and all of that. So yeah Ooh, that has been something that mark's been getting a lot of players with today meaty di players have not been ready all right feeling it uh-huh okay and so yeah there we go yeah you see it works and that anti is pretty good as well because you can cancel it into um a special move right and because of the the cancel window doesn't extend all the way so you can always pretty much always buffer it into a special move and if the cancel window doesn't come out it doesn't come out and if it does then you get a you get an extension on your anti-air and as i've explained that now this takes another round real quick boop, boop, boop. i have no doubts i don't have a doubt in my mind that uh, is going to be the end of the round. Alright, so what's Sonic going to do? Is he going to stick with the bison? Oh, is he going to go to one of the other characters? He's got so many. Looks like it's going to be that, as a matter of fact. It's going to be switching to the Ryu. So it is what it is. Let's see how this is going to change. Interesting that he would go for this character pick. Goes for the classic match. Not so sure though. I mean, Ryu is really good this season, right? He got a lot of buffs. He got a lot of buffs. A lot of these things which I feel like they were supposed to be there in the very beginning. 
Right? Maybe... Maybe not like the solar plexus being that plus. Um, but... I don't even mind that that much. I just, I'm just happy that you can choose when you want to when you want to throw your dungeon fireball and all of that. I think that's really cool. Previously, as soon as you stock up, you don't really just you can't really zone the way you want to because the next move that you do would have been a dungeon move, right? That is not the case anymore. But along with that, they just gave you a bunch of other stuff as well. Not that it is doing anything here for Sunny right now. It's gonna need a little bit more than that. Buffs up. Okay. No, anti air there looking to rather dump back heavy punch instead. Good, good, good stuff here from Mark. Alright. Oh, that's getting a buff punch every day of the week. Nice. Uh, Alright. Okay. Sunny with the wake up back throw. He needs to actually really play it carefully here. It's dangerous right now. Doesn't really have all that much life. Doesn't have all that much drive either, especially now. Drive. Impact is something that Mark is not going to get hit by. No whip punish on that over there. Very surprising. You can see Mark keen to just bully his way in. Does have that little bit of drive, you know, the impact might be coming. Oh, and the walk under is good, level one. And that's going to be a good game. Good, good game. Nice stuff, nice stuff. A really strong 3-1 there from Mark the Shark. Doing it, dude. Mark out here working, man. You love to see it. You love to see it. Uh, Sunny tried it with the bison, wasn't quite where it where he wanted it to be i'm sure um but it is what it is uh he tried it out and i think getting that um experience right getting that experience with a new character in a tournament is super super important and that is what sunny at least has gotten out of it today i mean he's still only that is when his final so he's still in loser side quite a ways to go but regardless getting that experience is what he is looking for um, i'm sure right character is still new the character is still new but it also just goes to show how prepared a lot of these players are right definitely not being caught off guard by any matchup sh uh, shenanigans very very much prepared very very much ready and yeah so let us move on to the next one friends we're gonna have Mars up against will bartness very keen to see how this one goes as well should be very exciting um yeah Mars with the jp i'm sure i mean i've seen him play i mean even it's a five i saw him play some akuma there as well if i'm not mistaken um but it's gonna be jp over here this is his character and we are in our losers' quarters right now, right? So this is our first quarterfinal. It's gonna be Will up against Moz, and then after this, we'll have Bionic up against Jabby M. Oh, okay. So gonna use the portal right away, and again, not a lot of drive available here for Will. We're gonna have to be forced to play a little bit more passively. Not really able to do that against uh, JP though. You can't be staying all the way out there. That's where he wants you to be. The overhead is good, just a sliver of drive available. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, 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 how does Moz get out of this? Just ends up getting jumped in on. Timing that jump, super, super scary. Alright, uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay. DI, ah, uh ah. -uh. Uh -uh. And this is going to take Chandi all the way to the corner, I'm sure. Goes for the level 2. Is it going to be a reset here? No, this is actually a burnout sequence, dude. Not quite there. No, that, I respect that. I respect that from Will. That's a, you know, sometimes you want to go out on your own terms. Right? You want to... If someone is going to try and chip you out, or if you're going to get chipped out, sometimes just uh, doing that on your own terms is not too bad. Using your drive on your own terms is not that bad. And that was actually a decent drive reversal. 
Well, he wasn't able to convert in that situation either. That being said, that being said, Moz does come out on top. Okay, uh huh. Big jump in. No anti air here from Moz though. Feeling it? No whiff. Punish. Okay. There's the whiff, and the whiff punish is good on the throw. Can you really even call it a whiff punish if it's a if it's a whiff throw? I guess so, right? Doesn't really feel as right. Usually, <laughs> we refer to those only during shimmies, but in any case, here we go. Uh huh. Yeah. Strong times here. Full will. There's was a rate clutch amnesia. Good conversion as well. Puts up the uh, departure as well. Okay. Oh, that jump medium is all the way out there. And yeah, the way with these DI reactions earlier against. Uh, oh, hold on. It's not enough. It is enough. <laughs> Where were those DI reactions earlier against the match with Mark, though? Well, that's the question. Right? Nice is on you. Nice is on you. Ah, tries to get the little uh, embrace over there. Not quite able to do it. No, well, can't really play right now. Can't really play. Oh, interestingly, Moz keen to get in there as well and close the gap, which is exactly what I guess it kind of played into Will's favor over here. Will does find himself burnt out though. Alright. Uh huh. Nice, nice, nice here from Will. Gets the empty jump into the throw and drive back on Will's side. The jump back. I think jump. Anyway, jump back heavy, right? Huh. Not gonna spin any barn again. Ready with the empty jump in the throw. Will's gone in there, dude. He's gone in there. He's checked. He's checked the notes. He's checked his, his players out. He knows what the tendencies are like. At least that's what I want to believe. I saw him do an empty jump into throw there. Again. So he might just be feeling it. This time he does go with the stomps though, so. Very keen to just hold the space. Yeah. And I was fighting from the corner over here, dude. It's like he's still happy with this spot. And even though oh, so much... Uh, Drive has been lost if I'm holding that parry and you can see that Will was trying to actually do the opposite, right? Expecting maybe a sequence of like projectiles and stuff to come through, but that didn't happen at all and now... Oh, level 2? Not quite. The punish is not quite uh, too severe though, thanks to that little um, spike from the portal. Not really able to anti it. it's a really awkward angle. And it's because of those parries, those throws that, um, the, th the parries that Wolves been throwing that Moz wasn't keen to just do a normal parry there. I think he tried to actually just do a normal anti air. And the problem with the JP's throw, I believe, it throws you out, it, would, it switches sides, right? So, would have put him in the corner as well. Good stuff to hear from Will. Going up two now. All right, so some sort of adjustments going to have to be made here from Moz if he wants to stay in here. Is it going to be a... No, it's going to be the JP once again. All right. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. Mm. Yeah, so... <laughs> Bullet jumps in and throws him again. It actually worked. But, well, needs to find his way out of the corner and, oh, taking with up. No need to take a throw ever, dude. He's just gonna do lightning legs in the air. Gets a massive uh, amount of damage for his troubles as well. Okay. Great stuff here. That does burn well out, though. So this is going to be Moses' time. It needs to be his time. The anti fails over there, unfortunately. What is going to be the idea here? You can see Moz kind of second-guessing his zoning. Could be worried about the Hazan shoot coming in or just a raw jump will have been pretty good at understanding when it is that uh, Moz wants to try and just throw some of these projectiles out there trying to get spooky with it but 
Well, keeping it together, dude. Making it really, really tough here for Moss to get anything started. Not this time, though. Oh, no. again, the punish. Not exactly the greatest, though. Okay. Good stuff here. Closer. There we go. The burnout. I mean, it hasn't really been that great of a factor so far here. Full Moss. I mean, he's been getting it consistently. Anti air, yeah. He'll take the trade. He'll be happy with that. All right. Oh, doesn't go into anything more. Probably wasn't ready for that to actually hit. And there's the Azonshu. See, that's what makes that so scary. Um, is that, you know, well shown that he has like an, more or less an idea of when to do that. Wow. Okay, punish. No, he can't. It's in burnout. Oh, and that's GG. Wow, that's a wash, dude. That is a wash. GG. Damn. I'll say I wasn't expecting to have these many washes in our tournament today, folks. 3-0. Sometimes it'd be like that, and it is what it is. So, yeah. Mons goes out in your loser's quarterfinal. World will progress to the loser's semi. And now we're going to have Illusions Bionic up against two um, Jabby M, right? Ooh, guys, I hope you are all having a great time with the stream. These matches are absolutely fantastic today. Um, seriously, I'm <laughs> I'm super invested. I'm super invested. I'm so in there. Nothing makes me happier than watching a high level Street Fighter like this. So yeah, big big ups to you guys. Yo, what's happening, Zendo? Yeah, I see you in the chat over there. I see you. I see everybody. Um, I thought I'd see you out there, man. I was actually looking at some of the previous participants and I was looking, hey, where's the where's uh, Zendo at, man? Had quite a few different characters yourself over there, you know? <clears throat> the Manon, the Marissa. You were going through it. It's a new season. They have KOF characters coming soon. Or Fatal Fury uh, characters coming soon. Terry will be next. He's next on the list. It's right up... Uh, right up your alley. <laughs> I'll right up mine as well. Right. I really love this game. Let's just change the names. I really, really love... These... Uh, characters and all that. But I won't deny that I also love me some missing gay, right? Alright! Uh, uh, uh. Alright! So, Jabby up against Bionic. Bionic was actually the person that beat the person that put uh, Jabby in to losers, right? So, it's not always the case that, you know. A beats B and B beats C, and so therefore, you know, it's it's not even like that. But it could just be a matchup thing, or who knows what happens, right? But needless to say, that Veronica has come to play today, and we've seen that Javi, he's playing right now. Look at this, he's always he's working his way onto a perfect over here. Okay, denied by Bionic though. The semi is good! Hold on! Oh, but we've seen that happen against um, Bionic, even against the match with Sonny, right? Jumps himself into the corner. At such a great position, that could have been the comeback of a lifetime. In and out! Oh, gets the hit, gets the hit once more! Into the level 3, and Javi's not going to be able to recover that um, drive in time. So what is the play here? Does Bionic try and opt to go for the... Oh, the overhead, bro! Wait a minute! Play the tunes! It's happening! Bionic stays in there, but the response here from Javi goes into the level 2. Uh. Okay. Great stuff here, but goes for the jab instead. Probably thought that Javi would be on the ground by then. Okay. Freestyle. Okay. Uh-huh. Nice response there from Javi, but doesn't really, you know, 
want to risk on failing the um, the cancel over there or trying to capitalize on the force knockdown. It's a free juggle stay, but yeah, if you're late, you might expose yourself instead. Okay, plus. Ah, nice interruption into level two for sure. No? Okay, here we go. So we'll do it a little bit later. Gonna take out quite a bit of that drive. And pressing some buttons on a wake up. Pressing some buttons on a wake up. Hold on. Hold on. Yo, guys, the level of play is insane. People are going up. Every single time I watch these tournaments. Oh, what a great counter hit confirmed there from Bionic. Every single time I watch these guys play. They're only getting stronger and stronger and stronger. Nice stuff here from Javi. Great response, but button was maybe a little bit too slow over there. To punish that particular button on the perfect parry. Okay, great corner carry here. Does still have two cans available. Interesting there that that counter hit. I mean, that crouching medium kick is plus. Into level two. Level one, maybe, should be enough. Ooh, he's gonna be close. Oh, yeah. Bionic's still in it. Oh, and drops himself right onto the valve. <laughs> you hate to see it happen. You hate to see it happen. Great stuff. I mean, you wouldn't think that it was Jabby that actually placed that fireball there because he knew that was going to happen in the first place. The amount of foresight. It's insane. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. Into level three. Yeah. This is good. This is good. This is good. Bionic really seems to be able to get the party started once this level 3 goes up. I don't know, maybe it's a tune. He really likes this song. <laughs> I mean, if I was a kid main, I'd probably enjoy that as well. Yeah, no way that Jabby can respond. That's unfortunately hold that one. And I'm telling you, there's something about this song that just gives uh, all kid mains a power up, dude. But that being said, Jabby responds in kind. The slides. Okay, nice. Yo, spending a bit more drive here than I would have expected. There's the elbow once again. Not able to capitalize though. You need those. Those are super important. Is Jabby going to spin the level two here? Okay, he will. He wants that drive bar. Still quite a distance before it though. Wow, the back throw. Bionic. Has Jabby in the corner. Is he going to spin it over the bar? He does have level two available. I don't think he's going to be able to give it the level three, but it misses. It worked. And that is so tragic. The jump in is good though. From where? How? Why? What? Okay. Okay. And Bionic out here doing it, dude, this time. Making get another great comeback. There's the perfect parry. That's the one that Sonny was doing earlier. To, um, to Bionic. Nice stuff. And there we go. You can see that those interruptions. And Bionic's been mixing up his approach with these dashes quite nicely. Calling out the interruption there from uh, Jabe. Conversion? No, not quite this time. Earlier on, we saw it, and there comes the drive impact. Okay, mix up. Will he set up the can? Okay. Oh my goodness! Level two, level one. Oh, Bionic was looking for it as well. The pressure is insane here, and the slide. He was willing to just slide in there. Bionic. Bionic, dude. He's doing it. He's really out here working, man. This time again, also doesn't quite get that uh, counter hit conversion. Jabby fighting back. Yeah, no jumping out allowed. There we go. Level one, level two. All right. Yeah, level one. I'm rather level two is okay. Yeah, I don't think he's being gonna be able to kill, right? Yeah. And yeah, Jabby is in burnout. Oh, but Bionic put himself in burnout as well. But I think he's happy with this, right? Just wants to get into this level three. So even if, 
even if this doesn't put, of course not going to kill it's still really good right in oh the command grab wait a minute wait a minute dude oh my goodness bionic with the crystal ball seeing you all the way into the future oh dude this guy really out there working bro damn all right okay okay but dabby so you know for all of that dabby's been playing it obviously exceptionally well as well you know been doing all the things that you'd expect with chun li and just like in general right the street fighter things in general bionic over here has just been making things work so nicely once he's been getting that run going once he puts um Darby into the blender he's really perfected the you know the machinery right he's really in there with it dude it's gonna yeah it's gonna trade so bionic is okay with that and then once again Darby puts himself into burnout Damn, the willingness, dude. The willingness here from Bionic. Ready with so, for so many different situations. We'll take as much as he can get, but Dami's still showing the willingness to press a couple of buttons of his own over there. There's the DI. Okay, time to set up. No. Big anti-air. Oh, oh man, that was so ambiguous. Dami. Ready to just press the parry button over there. And this is going to be the end of this particular round for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Almost another big comeback there from Bionic though. I'm telling you guys. Bionic just needs to get that level 3 in. Dude. Once that, uh, you know, once that tune starts playing. That's the one for Bionic over there. But we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. All right, yo, starting off with the slide. Okay. Nice, again. Bionic showing the willingness out here, dude. Mixing up the approach, but Dabby's still not afraid to press buttons at all. He'll do it. He'll do it, dude. You really got to make this man stop pressing. Oh, the reactions. There we go. To the corner. Not quite there. Can't really do too much. And oh, man. Oh, is this guy ready with it for every single situation, dude? Jabby in control a little bit with the, as far as the driver is concerned, though. And it is so scary. It is so scary. Gonna try and trip him up potentially. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Maybe that was an attempt to beat the an anti-air or something. The standing medium kick anti-air, perhaps. Don't know if I would have been two balls on it but you can see bionic unfazed unfazed at all this is where he loves to have his opponent in the corner like this it's okay it will trade every single time these drive reversals have not really been working out for anybody that's tried to do anything against them okay di ah jabby what are you saying what are you doing you know i've got these reactions you know i'm gonna do it Okay, can my only kill from this? I think, oh, oh, I don't know. It should, right? Right? Oh, dude, I actually don't know. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. It's last game of the round. I can't look, but I have to, because I gotta commentate this. <laughs> oh, man. Here we go. Uh huh. What is up? Oh, bait stands here, but not quite fast enough. All right, anti air, no, a little bit afraid. Then this is gonna go into level three for sure, and an unfortunate end to Bionic's tail. Uh, really, really well done throughout the event, but damn, that was great. That was great, guys. Give it up. Really, really gotta give it up for bionic over there i think do i have one of his replays sword here uh, i think i just got the tail end of it unfortunately but yeah that was awesome stuff really really great stuff guys well played to bionic
Really, really took two really strong players to the wire. Could have gone any way, I'd say. And uh, in both cases. And uh, yeah, today, unfortunately, luck was not quite there on the side of, um, of Bionic just towards the end. But I mean, it's progress. Progress is progress. And we can see it happening every single week. We see it happening every single, every single tournament, I should say, Rob. So, we are going to have our semis now, guys. Our losers semi-final. It's going to be Derby up against Will. I'd love to see how this is going to play out. Looks like Jab is going to... He's decided that he's going to switch it up. Looks like he's not going to be playing the mirror at all here. Not keen on the mirror at all. He's just going to run the... He's going to run the Kami. All right. Let's go. So this should be that over here. Uh, I just need to check one thing really quickly. Uh huh. This should be our winner's final right now. All right. Let me just double check on the bracket for you a lot real quick before I get ahead of myself while all this action is happening. Uh, uh, okay. The throw. Oh, I think that Jabby tried to do an anti-air there. I'm losing some. Oh, Sonny's still waiting over there. Right? Just had to make sure that everything is in order. Right. So, yeah. Sometimes that happens. You gotta end your... You gotta end your... DP's on down forwards if that doesn't happen. What a whoop bonus! Is it gonna be enough? Oh, that last hit does so much damage, but not quite enough. Not able to punish. Oh, and the walk on is good! If Will spends all his drive, he'd have to do level one now, right? Yeah. I think if he spent all his drive, he may have been able to kill without it. It's scary. It's always so scary, though. All right. Spin Knuckle, yeah, they've made it a bit more difficult to actually use as an anti-projectile now. I actually have to read it a little bit better. Okay, no. Button for button over there. I press, you press the game. Alright. No. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No book punish over there. Interesting, interesting choices here from both players, but they're playing in each other's faces, which is something that you like to see, right? Like just in this range right here, you see? It's so cool. It's really so cool to watch. Again, the walk under here from Bo, and he's going to actually opt to go into level 3 from this as well. While he's burnt himself up. Not so sure, that did so little damage. I don't know how I feel about this. It's a good lead though. It's a good lead, but it's it's so scary. It's so scary to not have your drive, but no. Oh, Jamie didn't really do too much with it that time. We'll go into level 3, I'm sure. Yeah. It won't kill, but it does give Dabi the one touch that he needs, potentially. A DI, maybe? I don't think he... Oh, but yeah, we'll call DI back. Parry is an option, of course, but jab and it's raw. I agree. With we'll drive rush, drive rush jab into throw. Not a bad option at all. Uh huh. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. Oh! Unfortunate, but that is the kind of thing that happens sometimes. Yo, none EX can spike. That's how you know this man wanted to send a message real quick. Okay. Oh, into level two. Well, I could have probably have gotten the bar there, but Jabby felt comfortable enough not to spend it. And sometimes, you know, it's better to not spend it than miscalculate and then find yourself in burnout. It's kind of what happened to... Um, it's kind of what happened to Will in that round over there. The previous round. Burning yourself out. Like mid-round is always so scary. Okay. 
No anti air walks all the way back though. Very interesting. Makes me wonder like what is it that uh what's Will looking for when he's walking back like this? Surely it's not just charging the Kikoken, right? I mean, shouldn't he can get all this Oh, yeah. Oh, I don't think he can kill. Maybe! Maybe actually. Maybe. Okay. Nice, crouching medium kick. Oh, all the way. The, oh, not quite all the way. Yeah, I mean, Jabby knows this character, right? If anyone knows Chun Li, we've seen him only play this character today. All right. Mm hmm. All right. DI. Aha. Well, just as ready. He's, I don't know what happened. Previously, in the previous couple of games, he was getting hit by DI all the time. Like normal DI all the time. Now, suddenly, dude is just able to, just able to do it. Classic as well. No modern nonsense over here. Not that there's anything wrong with playing modern, but obviously it is a lot easier to do those things on there. Okay. Nice blocking here from Derby. Looking for some sort of whiff. You can see that. Pressing a button, walking back. Wants to keep that pressure going. Building a lot of that little drive damage as well. And again, fails that uh, DP over there. No way that was a spiral arrow. Nice. Oh, no anti air from Will. Crazy. That jump back was the one that you were looking for. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, this is huge. Not big enough here from Will, though. Okay. The, the music is, is just adding to <laughs> the suspense as well, but that jump was never going to ever work. Um, and Jabby. Stays on top of it. Worth the cannon spike. Hmm. Well, out here just tossing out those jabs. They're trying to see what uh, what is exactly that Jabby is looking for. Some big whiffs out here though. Okay, good confirm. Feel like well maybe didn't have to spend that drive there. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. A little bit of back and forth. Scary position for Walt to be in, though. No drive. You can see he's trying to get out of the corner. What a great conversion there from Jabby. Gets the throw as well. The DI, and this time, Walt not quite ready. The maximum damage into level three. Yeah. Just goes into level two. He's not keen to watch the entire thing. He wants to go to the next match right now. Jabby wants to, he wants to get it on with it, dude. He's like, hook me up. Let's move on. But it's been rough. It's been rough. It's been rough throughout this entire tournament. You know? People want to win. <laughs> People want to win. I love it. Uh, 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 uh. Nice! Oh, what a perfect parry over there. Perfect parry and straight into the standing heavy kick. No reason not to like buffer that out there, right? You do your parry, buffer your heavy button. If, it, if you get a perfect parry, you get a punish. If not, nothing comes out. So, no reason not to do that. Jabby. Very, very aware of the system mechanics. Alright. Yeah, no, 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 not gonna happen. Some great wood punishment there from Javi. When the wall moves back and forth like that, it's a like a clear indication like, yeah, I'm gonna play on the ground right now, right? See? So, the idea is to... You mimic those movements, but then you don't, you don't do that. <laughs> You don't, you mask your, you always need to be masking your intent. So, yeah. But not once you get like a little drive rush or something, then it's good game. All the way to the corner we go. Jabby needs to find his way out of here. He does have the critical art available. 
on the verge of being burnt out not even gonna be a factor whoa staying in there dude staying in there so both of these players have level three available is Abby gonna go into level three here no recognizing this is not the time i like that great will punish again what a brave brave uh wake up uh dp over there oh i gets the forward medium punch no oh that happens that does happen and i gotta ask myself if will purposely threw that foul because he knew is it dead it is Ooh, that was close though that was some stuff that happens yeah that happens the uh, invo definitely doesn't go all the way um but yeah i'm guessing you know well through that just because he knew that would happen in that situation there was some confidence over there fantastic stuff fantastic stuff but unfortunately it was not enough to take jabby down and sunny will be the one that has to fight against jabby now uh, it was a great attempt though will finds himself i think that's fourth place right fourth place yeah uh so that's a good chunk of points already i mean all of these players over here in the top eight have they will see themselves with a good amount of points um but still yeah great showing overall guys really 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 um give these guys their due you know we are out here working today seriously seriously putting the time in <laughs> they're putting the time in to uh, yeah prove themselves as uh yeah world true world warriors all right so once again guys while we're waiting for them they can start anytime uh this is gonna be your our losers our losers final if you want to join in on the world warriors please do so start dot uh, gg um slash uh gw2024 underscore either change the number from two to five and you can register for any of those um events over there really it's free to enter they're playing for 2000 rand today there's also the big prize pool towards the end i think i'm definitely sure it's over 100,000 rand and of course it's around uh the um it's also about winning that trip to capcom cup so there's a lot there's a lot to be playing for right all right here we go uh-huh okay all right slide punish okay not probably not the best punish but the punish on the nonetheless sony using his gal for the first time today at least on the stream i'm not so sure about what happened off stream into death yep 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 well, we've seen these two go at it so many times in the past probably have played each other a bunch in ranked as well not so sure how it goes these days last time i checked though it was uh yeah jabby was out there doing his usual thing well looking like a little bit of back in the fourth right now though very early on oh probably got baited over there by that jab may have seemed like a oh man not the great, uh, greatest punish not the greatest punish but it worked out wow yes that is the correct choice right there yeah, didn't see that from too many players lost uh, world warrior weren't really shutting down a lot of those options right people were drive rushing and getting in for free a couple of months ago now it's definitely not the case okay uh, all right burn up inches closer and closer for sonny scary stuff does have the level three available oh the counter hit on the crouching medium pick oh this is gonna hurt no it's not it's not at all because the conversion was just not quite there both of them just 
on a sliver of uh, drive and now both burnt out level three is a big factor here for sonny he's got that available and javi with so much confidence just walks in and throws and won't do it again the will go into the chip there as well oh, javi knows confidence dude confidence is key was able doing that little moment over there in the corner walking forward and taking initiative was crucial and Javi was able to do that did not want to give Sonny the space maybe activate into level two and that's a round pass now that's a time of the pass oh big jump in but the damage probably not the greatest Val does have quite a few different options nice okay uh-huh oh wakes up reaching grabs a whole bunch of air great great oh that was actually nice i feel like that one was very safe and this is a big move sonny has to make this go no oh i guess meaty fireball yeah but his own shoe is a factor and oh my Sometimes you just gotta keep it simple. Sometimes you just gotta keep it simple. Button, button. Into super. Probably would have been enough over there. And those are the ones that keep you up at night. Thinking about what could have been. But it can keep you up at night. But don't think about it mid match. <laughs> that is definitely the mistake to make. And you can see that. Not for hasn't faced Sunny at all. He's been in so many of these situations in the past. Oh, and there's the conversion! Oh man! I love it, dude. Being able to recognize the fool's knockdown and capitalize off it. Damn, son! Where'd you find this? <laughs> Great stuff over here. That level three is locked and loaded here for Jabby. You know he has the reactions. Next time he sees that uh oh level three keeping it simple this time yes indeed very very good stuff here from sonny uh, sonny's been really good with his perfect parries today he's been really really good with these perfect parries today okay it looks like the stream <laughs> the stream left the room <laughs> Oh, I guess it's only one person that needs to jump in after this, right? So I guess that's okay. All right. Nice flash kick. Damn. Okay. Uh huh. Huh? Okay. Mm -hmm. a little bit of back and forth again here with sonny in control like not a lot has really happened but in these minor exchanges sonny's coming on top a little bit too early was confident in the anti air but it's a little bit too early with it over there and again these parries dude level one is it gonna be enough i don't think so is it gonna be another one of these stories no the hazon choose a little bit too early Round two. Fight finds it's right on top of the sonic blade or the sonic cross rather and sonny playing a really old school kind of guy right now not something you would see too often right jabby trying to whip punish that cartoon medium pick not able to quite get it this time and calls out the wake up flash kick great stuff not really going to be able to burn up just yet but what's the mix up oh tries to get the little parry that um he got earlier but not able to what a great air grab wow sonny waking up with all this stuff he's like ah, i did something the last time he's not going to expect me to do it again this time jeremy is pretty confident about it like ah he only has one ball left he's not going to throw it away since he can't really like wing from that position was tough even if that level one did hit not impossible but tough nonetheless mm -hmm. 
Perfect parry was not quite there. Jabby keeping this corner nice and tight right now. Great tech here from Sonny. Can't hit us there, but I don't think that Jabby could have really gotten too much out of that. Ooh, scary stuff. Really, really scary stuff. Sonny, you've been living in this corner over there. No flash kick available. Level three. For sure. No. What? Very weird little setup there. I've never seen that one before. But it worked out. That was the longest perfect we've seen today. That was the longest perfect we've seen today. Ugh. All right, all right, all right. It's only two, so it's not quite the end just yet. So we're still waiting to see. What the idea is here from Jabby or from Sonny, rather, he does have a bunch of other characters. What will he decide to go with? I feel like you know it wasn't too bad. Gal wasn't, I mean, very easily. There were quite a few rounds in the beginning that um, Thing could have done really well with, right? Sonny could have done really well if he had closed out some more of those rounds a bit more cleanly. But unfortunately, not the case this time. Just trying to see what's going on over there. Uh, oh, they're just asking. They're just asking to be sure. They saw that the stream, the stream uh, disappeared, and they thought maybe the stream is gone. But we're good. We're good to go. We're good to go. I appreciate the consideration. All right, let's do it, guys. So, yeah. Sunny. Oh, okay, so Sunny is opting to switch during this time anyway. Going to switch to the Blanca. So, Blanca got a couple of nerfs. Right? Up ball. No longer EX, uh, the downwards ball, the dive ball. Like, not really as strong as it was before. Used to be plus no matter what. Now, can be quite negative. Um, and also, the doll over there. Yeah, the Blanca Chan. Not quite as... Uh, I, I mean, it's still pretty strong. But it, it does scale a little bit more. I mean, that doesn't mean too much though. I mean, people have seen... Men do some crazy things with the character. So we'll see. Ah, Jabby not falling for that one. Very, very aware at all times of anything in it. Good to test your opponent though. What a fantastic slide. Plus, yeah. Nice stuff here from Jabby. Doesn't even go for the back row. Feels like, oh, you know, perhaps the default position for many people that play charter characters would be to hold down back so going for that overhead not that bad i mean they do that because they want to still blow charges as much as possible right level two just to make sure and that was a great one that's a fantastic idea there from dabby and all it takes all that it takes oh no sorry suddenly trying anything just to make anything happen right now no punish on the wake up DP, kind of falling apart here. Has been playing so well throughout. Needs to keep it together. These are the crucial times for that. Again, that slide. It's been pretty good today for Sonny, but even though he gets it, it's like he doesn't really get out anything from it or hasn't been getting too much from it. Wow. Okay, maybe looking for that slide once again. Does have a lot of meter available. Hasn't set up any dolls so far though. Okay, into level three. All right, I feel it. I can feel it. Okay, there comes the first one for the day. Oh, what a great bait here! Yo, 
in the face no this is not bison you can't just go shoot the <laughs> you can't just go through the fireball like that probably was going to up to do that anyway oh man and the willingness just to throw that blanca ball out there guys please we've seen a good few watches today but we've also seen a little, way way more close games like seriously seriously close stuff not quite used to it being this close this long right for these many sets that being said that goes into the level three wants to end it real quick not quite able to put uh, sonny into burnout and the jump is good here for sonny he needs his pressure right now does have that one bar available as well just trying to get away from there and he does using the normal ball as well not even the od okay the slide once again jabby needs to pay attention to that you can see that at this range over here sonny's looking for a great anti can he kill from here doesn't have to try it goes into level two this is going to be really really tough to deal with right now Bonka does not need to charge on the hit when he does a move oh punish oh gosh okay level two is at its end now and oh man what a call out from sonny bro what is going on what is going on everybody is just playing at one thousand percent right now guys are you for real one thousand percent dudes are just going in okay and recycling through the characters people have got characters for characters for characters and they've got them for days uh this time jabby opting to go with the rashid i haven't seen his rashid all day right but let's see how he feels about this one okay this is a matchup that i i mean you see it often um you know in other tournaments overseas and such but this is not one that I see too much um, locally. So, oh, you can see Sonny was ready to do the up pull there, but I don't know. Maybe he didn't have charge. That was strange. But Sonny did play a bit of Rashid in the beginning as well. So, I mean, he plays all the characters. Oh no! But I don't know. I'm not so sure about this one, folks. It's like, who's level 2 do we get first? Ah, looks like it's gonna be Javi. No DI response here. Yeah, the mix-up is good, but not quite. The conversion wasn't quite there. Here comes a level 2 now, though. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, that was not too bad. But, oh, this is actually gonna... This is death, actually. Good game. And over with the... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, yeah. Over with the perfect. Over with the perfect. But still a great showing nonetheless, guys. Give it up for Sonny. Did really well. Tried his best. Give it up for Jabby as well. You know, doing what he's got to do um, in the bracket today fighting all the way from losers guys and it has not been easy right it has not been easy uh so yeah give it up for both players really put an amazing show in today uh let me just get mark into the lobby over here i think it's mark the shot pc you're right yeah 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 all right folks we've reached that point of the tournament today it's the grand finals it's gonna be none other than Javier up against Mark the Shark. A tale as old as time. This seems to be the uh, the SF6 uh, special, as far as I'll see is concerned. Many times, right? And we put the loser side 
icon on uh, Javi's side over there since he has to win two sets. Remember that? He's got to win two sets in order to make his way through. So, yeah. Yeah, guys. It's the, it's the end. We still have... We still have quite a bit coming through. But, you know... We are reaching the end of our first tournament today. And while we're waiting, we can just have a look at our bracket. Kind of see how it's filled out there. Oh, the names are a little bit overlapped over there. But yeah, let's get to it. So, Javi needs to win his two sets against Mark the Shark over here. Uh, he's going to drive with Rashid, but a great one punish here from Mark the Shark to start us off over here. Okay. Not able to block the overhead this time, and now it's all Rashid. He does get a dash up throw loop. Mark will have to make some decision at some point. Jabby tries to go for the semi, miscalculates how close he is there for the throw. And a really great answer there with the EX spinning mixer to shut down anything that would have come out of the run. Once again, Jabby with the eagle eyes over there. Okay. All right, a little bit of bar here for a little bit of bar, a little bit of drive, and none of this sort. What a great stuff there from Mark the Shark Claw. Burns himself out, but I guess he doesn't matter too much. He's okay just to do this, and yep, that was it. Was either uh, that or it wasn't right? It was either it happened or it didn't. It was a pure guess in that kind of situation. All the way to the corner, Mark doing it. All right, right back at you. Look at the corner carry here from Ajabi. Okay, to the corner. Uh huh. Okay, one more time. No, yeah. keeps it safe. I like that from Mark. And again, a really great whip punish over here. Tries to go for a neutral jump to beat the throw, but Ajabi way too ready. Big punish here. Not gonna be able to kill though. Tries to go for a reset. Jabby not having any of it. Does have two balls available. Will be three very shortly. I feel like Jabby could probably kill on the next good hit. Oh, oh, that was a... Ooh, ooh. Scary jumps here. Very risky jumps here from Mark the Shark. And not too much was done before this level three. So this should be the end of this round, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, 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 uh. Ha! Keeping that corner. Mm. Alright, uses the stack kick instead. Nice, that's the perfect parry I was looking for. Um, a few matches today. Jabby has brought it out just to set down those dragon lashes. You need to do it. You need to do it. All right. Uh huh. Oh man, it's Perry, perfect Perry City right now. And Jabby looking a bit in control, but anything can happen. Just one crouching medium kick. It's all that Ken needs. Level two is going to be the story. Yep. Ah. Okay. It's so scary. What do you do, right? <laughs> what do you do? What do you do? Jabby was out here like, listen, man. I kind of just want to play. I kind of just want to play some more Street Fighter. So I went to lose this early on. I went to lose this early on. <laughs> that could be the story. That could be the story. But not even Mark has anything to say about it. Here we go. Time to guess. What's good? What's for breakfast? Oh, no conversion over there, but should be able to kill. Not even needing to spend any super meter. Alright, Mark. In control. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. Cannot be jumping like that. You've got to test your opponent, though. You have got to test your opponent. I like that from Mark. Showing Javi he's willing to do it. But, yeah. 
all of that damage well a good chunk of that damage has just been spinning mixer two jumps and one from the uh crush counter into um, a heavy mixer and then again now gotta play me on the ground this is what javi is trying to communicate here and the di comes out of nowhere i think that javi was probably looking for the dragon lash there it's a bit of a hard call out nice all right oh dude it's coming it's coming it's still there oh <laughs> What do you do? Friends, what do you do? It was a really problematic thing to deal with in SF5. It's still a problem here in SF6. It's coming at you. Oh man. Was that the plan? Was that the plan from the very beginning? Into level 3? Alright. Nice. Gets a full animation as well. I don't believe it will kill you, right? Oh, what? Yeah, no, but I mean... Not even like, what's, uh, yeah. What could uh, Javi have done? Maybe level one. I mean, level one could have worked there. Level one could have worked there. Alright. But a meaty fireball could have closed it out as well, level, leaving level one useless. So, yeah, it's rough, guys. It's rough. This game is very taxing on the mental. Nice work punish again. Jabby out here, You're doing the things, huh? Spinning it up. Uh 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 uh. Great stuff over here from Jabby. Nice. Okay. Alright, so that's been like super back and forth about who's gonna be dominating the corners, right? I mean, you can see that here. Because just by the nature of the characters, and as soon as Jabby has level 2, he's gonna be doing this, right? So, Rock takes the damage early, but I don't know, dude. It's maybe not the best idea. And again, Javi has said, absolutely not. You are not allowed to jump. You are not allowed to do fake pressure to me. You are not allowed to have poor spacing. You're not allowed to do anything that's not on point. So, yeah. It's a very clear message, right? No anti-air here for Mark in response either. And a whoa, 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 whoa. This is looking like... This is looking really bad right now. Massive jump again, so for Mark, he doesn't care. He really does not care. And this is gonna be a good, a really good uh, punish here. Gets the corner. Okay, here we go. Uh, one more time. Uh, he's getting the stats, but he's not able to convert all the way. Burns himself up. Wants to get the corner and roll. Almost burned Dabby out as well. Great, great stuff there with the run DP just to keep Jabby honest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, not quite enough. It's nice. Woo! All right. Again, that jump from that range. Jabby has checked him for it. Level 2? Do you just take the throw here? No. Rock was still willing to take that. Incredible. Uh huh. Yeah. Nice with punish. Here we go. Time to party. My oh, dad, he's been mixing up his offense quite a bit over here. You love to see it. Well, ops to go for the damage over there instead. No work punish from that crouching medium kick. There's the conversion. Jabby pressing something in between the general kicks. Gets the overhead. Okay. 
Mark looking for any button into level 3 and he'll get it. He'll get it. There we go. All right. That was 2-2. Two, two. Matt! Matt! Okay. Mark doesn't want this to go. He does not want this to go any further. He's like, I'm here. I'm taking my points. I'm in grand finals. I'm on the winner's side. I'm not going to let this go to a situation where it's a reset. I'm not going to make that happen. And Damian on the other side is saying just the reverse. It's like, I really want this to go to a reset. <laughs> and it, it's very apparent um, in the way they are playing. It's fantastic, really. Again, that jump has not been working. It just has not been working. And there's the DI as well. Optimal, optimal DI combo as well. Burnt out Mark presses a button after blocking that rolling shot as well. And Javi really looking to reset this bracket real quick, guys. Well, not quickly, but he wants it there right now. And that is the response. That is the key response. If you don't want to let your opponent uh, drive rush cancel on you, but certainty, you have got to drive rush, uh, drive reversal, um, the DRC. Every single time. Trade the two for the three. And just get the drive gauge uh, advantage. Javi burnt out here now. Ooh, ooh, okay, in the corner. Scary, the level one is there. And just with a sliver of life. Just with a sliver of life. And he still goes with the extended general combo as well. Into the CA. It's not gonna kill, but. Javi is so burned out. Will he react to this uh, DI? It looks for it. Oh my gosh! But it wasn't even that. And Mark is still in the tournament. He's still in the. He's preventing the reset. With no health available. There comes the DP now in response here from Mark. Javi just has one little. Uh, Slivel of... Oh, well, he's got the level 2 now and he's gonna spin it. I was talking about that. That's what he was building up to. Oh, dear. And the whip punish is good. And the run! He didn't come out. Oh, dear. It's a sad story. If that is the factor for Mark. And again, the confidence of Jabby just to walk forward and throw. And the confidence in response to wake up in DP. Burnout, a big factor here. Jab into the throw, and it's gonna be a reset, folks. It's gonna be a reset. Look at that, dude. Wow. Wow. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> Guys, that's rough. That is rough. Well, 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 well. I'm happy about it, and you guys should be happy about it as well, though, because it means we get to see more Street Fighter. But, ooh, that is so taxing, I'm sure. That is so taxing. All right? So we've got ourselves a reset, folks. It's hard work out here in these streets. Right here in the metro downtown. This is not an easy street at all. Okay. Uh huh. Uh uh. To the corner we go. Set up for the overhead. There it is. Meaty. Perfect. Button into Dragon Lash. No, goes for another Meaty over there. Not able to really respond. Could have possibly gone with Super there. Mark wasn't really intending to do that. Wants to try and keep Jabby in the corner here. And was actually doing pretty well while he was burnt out. Does he eat this overhead though? Look at that damage. It's just three hits. What a great tech. But the level two comes off from Jabby. Trades there with the EX Adoken. And nothing that you could really do about that. Nothing he could really do at that point. Okay. Spike set up. Waiting this here from Mark the Shark to press. All right. 
Oh. DP. Ooh. Oh, man. Probably didn't even have to drive rush for that one. Oh, it's gonna be late. No. Nice, 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 nice. Scary. Sometimes it's super is like just a little bit too slow in those kind of situations, but cross cut super. Not easy to do. Mark the shot pulling out all the stops right now. Great, yep. Good response there from Mark. Jabby tossing out the drive-in bag. Hey, you gotta keep him honest. You gotta keep him honest, you know? There's the meaty drive-in bag. It's been like that all day. That isn't quite meaty. Enough to get something, but oh man. Mark playing like a true angry man right now. He's not happy about it. Creating all the space. He wants this level 2 to come up potentially. No. I think Mark was looking to do a run DP over there. Unfortunately, Davy doesn't really get the most out of that. Uh, doesn't get the most out of that level 2. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is this going to be a reset or is this going to be damage? Okay, let's just go for the mix up into the low. Oh man. Level 2 is almost almost there again. Oh, and the wake up throw is good. Yeah. From Mark the Shark. Walking back. What's he looking for? Doesn't whip punish the crotch and medium kick. And again. Every single time. You can't do that against Javi. He's going to be buffering that. And Rashid is one of the few characters that you can't even pull that out with um, a DI. Right? You can't call that with, let's say you do drive, crouching medium kick drive rush into DI. Some characters, if they do their DPs, you can call it out with that. You can't do it with Rashid because Rashid has got multiple hits. He does three hits on his uh, mixer. It won't do a lot of damage, but it's still going to stop your drive impact. So it still works in every single situation. So in that particular instance, Rashid has got the, to my knowledge, the best like OD way of preventing the drive um, drive button into uh, DRC. Right? DRC button, that thing that most players do. Rashid's got the best way of shutting that down. Not able to really shut down that uh, jump out of the corner though. And Mark again finds himself burnt out. Level 1 is going to be enough. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. Again, shut down, dude. Shut down. He has been shut down. Every single time. Nothing fake is allowed past Javi. Goes into this. Whoa. Didn't go for any damage over there. What's going on with Mark now? Playing so something previously. And just fumbling in key areas over here. Good job out of the harm's way over there. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, yeah, this is slowing down the, the pace a little bit. Okay, punish? Yeah, that's a big punish. Doesn't have to spin any bar at all. Eagle spike without like any enhancements or something. Really, really bad. One block. All right. Show you reply. Ooh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yep. This is good for Mark. He'll take the burnout. He'll take the damage. He'll take the corner. Javi does still have that level two though, so if he can find a way to activate that level one, it's going to be the option though. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. And Mark evens it up for some reason. Puts himself in burnout as well. He just wants to get the pressure. Could have possibly gone for the standing right kick over there. It's a really quite the back and forth over here. Really, really, really intense stuff. Really, really intense stuff. As the set progresses, you know, things become a lot more intense. Big jump, but not quite early enough. Great anti-air, and again, really, dude. 
really Dabby has shut that down so consistently it's it's everything everything that is not real he's just i'm being an exdp every single time even these jumps as well playing against an opponent like this is so tough it's just prepared for everything you've got to be on that same wavelength look at this oh and into the reset as well all right and the response is not really being similar there for mark he's crouching medium kicks into buttons is stuff that darby's been able to capitalize on throughout the set great yep. into the corner we go and this should be mark's time to shine okay not quite back to the neutral conversion all right nice to the corner and a back throw well I'll try to keep this match mid screen the run should be okay yeah uh, uh, uh. it really is back and forth back and forth in rounds back and forth on the screen it, it's it's crazy it's crazy there's a crouching medium kick again Jabby out here making uh, Rashid's crouching medium kick look like Ken's, dude. Speaking of which. Alright. Okay. Yeah, Jabby's going to just chill inside it. He'll take the screen. He'll take all of that screen. Very happy with it. Okay, just ups to take the spit. Step kick. Wants to take the, the okay. Okay. Do not jump here. Okay. That's the crouching medium kick once again. This is the extension there. Okay. Uh, oh, what a call out here from Jabby. Is he able to kill? No way. Okay. Okay. You could see Jabby was expecting that one. He was walking back for a while. And there wasn't a doubt in Mark's mind that he was going to do that level 3. He had decided as soon as he got knocked down, he was doing it. He was going to do that. And now Jabby! Now Jabby is just one metal match away from winning this tournament. After going into losers around round 2? Round two or round three? There we go. Gets the corner. Tries to bait something out of it, but Dabby is willing to take at least at one throw at first. Right? That's happened so many times. Take a throw. Mark will throw a fireball. And uh, Dabby will uh, do the level two. It's something that you see quite often, right? Someone takes a throw, creates that space throw fireball so it's almost an instinct to do that there's a response maybe a little little too late too little too late who knows there we go maybe not this could be exactly what mark needed this that driver reversal on its own has changed the entire shift of the round but just like that perfect parry does here for jabby the drive rush low here we go okay That was towards the end of, as well. That was towards the very end of that drive in, but that's why we didn't get the like the slowdown. Well, a, a bunch of the slowdown, rather. Okay, interesting choices here. Mm -hmm. And Jabby responding in kind now. He doesn't want to allow Mark any sort of free pressure. Yo, just a raw eagle spike. Gets his face and straight into level 2, dude. There's the shimmy, but not quite able to capitalize. This is actually not that bad of a level 2 here for Mark. But you're not going to get away with that ever. Those jumps are not going to be free. And wow, what a clutch. What a clutch. Uh, Barry over here will go into the level 3. Mark wants this drive. This drive advantage. 
the level one is here Dabi has been using it he's happy to parry in this situation though you need to anti air this somehow oh and he tries it but it's not quite there but the level one isn't there but oh mark burns himself out as well you know that Jabby's looking for anything just to go into that level one if there's something fake right he's got it available he's been doing that throughout the set are they both waiting for their draft to be restored Jabby's gonna be there first gets a jab but not able to do anything and wow what a ballsy um drive impact and i can't believe this dude mark is still alive over here what is the idea jumps in oh my god I died. <laughs> Guys, it's the first tournament. It's the first World Warrior tournament. You can't do this to me. You can't do this to me. <laughs> you can't do this to me so early on. Javi, out here. All right, gets the drive impact. Low on drive himself. Will he be able to kill? Not quite. Doesn't have to spin the drive, and here he'll spin the drive impact. Finds himself in a similar position to before, but can Mark? Can Mark find it in him to come all the way back again? Javi says no. Take this back throw. Take this level two. Take this dead storm. Yo, that's not that bad a trade, actually. It's not that bad. It could have been worse. But still, Jabby in control here. Okay. Punish. Yes, into the corner and level three is coming, right? No, what? What is going on? Okay. Oh, okay, this time surely, right? No. Wants to spin it, cash it out when it makes... Uh, the most sense and it could be right now i don't know is this gonna kill i think so gets the full animation and mark the shark is taking this all the way all the way to the wire dude one a piece it's a reset it's everything for the first world warrior who is it gonna be goliath gaming's javi uh, on the machine we losing gaming smart the shot team. What do we got? Here comes a level two once again. Really out there. Okay, here we go. Mark. Very smart. Great defense here. Shuts it down with the drive reversal. Really, really, really good. Jabby. Great in his own right. And what a shutdown with the two. Wow, dude. Really just bring out the stand jab. Cool. Yeah. Ooh. Nope, 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 nope. Jabby wants this. Mark wants this. The big whips. Unpunished. Who is going to make the big, big swing right now? Jabby's in the lead. Mark has to make his way to him. Not the biggest of punishes, but the drive is a factor here. What? Why? What's going on? The jump? No! That is not the one, and this is gonna hurt so much! Right now! You can see the- the what? What? Whoa, dude! I don't know what to say! The jump, you need to stop jumping right there! He's buffering and he's so afraid of the DI, and there it is! At the one moment that- oh man! Dude! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, dude! Well, guys, I need to stand up. I need to stand up for a little bit. <laughs> and, uh, that's a bit much. Uh, <laughs> Yo, guys, that was insane. That was insane 
from the beginning to the end matches were wow this season if it continues like this this season is off to a magnificent start for sure the game is in a nice place the players are hungry you guys want it you guys want it so bad and if it keeps up like this it's gonna be an insane time for street fighter 6 uh, right here in the world warrior series right that being said big congratulations to jabby who takes the first one remember guys your top three positions is the one that really matters the most right now right so you know it's uh getting a first place position this early really really great stuff here for jabby as well um so yeah big 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 ups guys uh i'll see if i can't get jabby in here whoever is available just for a quick post-match uh commentary or post-match little uh interview like i usually do but i'm trying to change it a little bit this year so in the future it might be a situation where i kind of do these afterwards and i can spend a little bit more time with the players as well there's actually a bunch of things that i'm very excited to share with you guys uh going forward and actually the way that the stream works and how everything looks as well right so yeah but everything held up nicely today very few to no real problems i'm very happy about that um so yeah let me just uh, hop into the uh voice chat over there and see if i can't get some of the the folks out there as well one one sec So I've notified them over there just to see if anyone is available. If not, it's also fine guys. I can just do this. I can always do it at a later stage. We'll give them a few minutes just to, to jump in. They jump in, they jump in. If not, then we'll see what happens. I can show they're probably all super tired uh, after that. Okay, Jabby does say he's around. Sonny says it's around as well. So yeah, they can just pop into the voice chat over there. All right. Let's have a listen to what they've got to say. Uh -huh. Oh man. Uh, yeah. They should be able to see this channel over here. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't hear any. Yo, Sonny, what's good, man? Hold on, let me just reduce the set of the game volume over there. Uh, yo, Sonny, can you hear me? Hello. What's up? I think your mic is still muted over there. Yeah, so we're just waiting for literally anybody just to say something. Then I can also make sure that it's going through to the stream. Uh, just to ask a couple of, you know, questions and such about, um, you know how those matches went i'd love to hear exactly how everyone feels especially since there were some really tense matches guys some really really tense matches so i'd love to hear oh you can't unmute okay hold on let me just um see what is up with that connect speak uh maybe now can you guys unmute now sorry about that yo can you hear me bro there we go. There we go. Just say something for me real quickly there. Can we, yes. There we go. Perfect. 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 All right. All right. All right. I think everyone can hear you at, through the stream as well. So yeah, guys, um, I want to say congratulations to all of you. I yeah, you guys had some fire matches today. Um, yeah. Let's start with uh, you. you have a break open oh, sorry. Hold on. Yes. Yeah. Sonny, let's uh, start with you over there. Uh, tell me how were your thoughts on... You know, Matches today. Yeah, I enjoyed it, man. My uh, 
my thought process going into this tournament was just to uh, test my characters that I've been playing around with and enjoy playing with. So, uh, yeah, it went well, man. I, I went toe to toe with Yara and I went toe to toe with Mark. So, yeah, it's just about perfecting certain things and certain matchups with those characters now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was saying that, you know, you got your. You got your character. Well, you got a character you like playing. You got Bison, and I think you know it suits your suits your 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 tastes pretty well over there, uh, amongst all the other characters that you play. So you've got quite a repertoire uh, of characters uh, to your disposal now, um, and getting some tournament experience with a character like Bison it was just really new, right? The newest of the lot. I think it's uh, yeah, it was really good. It was a really good uh, overall, very tight sets. Uh, with um, yeah, many of the matches that you had today, so you know, well done, well done to you, right? Cheers, man, and well done to the to the, to Mark and to Javi, and special shout out to people like Bionic who's improved a lot, and then to newcomers on the block like Juju. It was really nice to see new people in the topic. For sure, for sure, I agree with that one hundred percent, one hundred percent. Um, yeah. So let me move on over here to uh, Mark over here, Mark. What's up, man? You had like a hey, what's up, Sigma? You, dude. You'd had some, yo. You pulled out so much, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Bro, yeah, you... I'm so tired after that set, man. It's, <laughs> it's, it's so hectic. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, I, I think yeah, I mean, coming into this, like, I'm only going to be end up playing four of these tournaments, so I really needed to do well. Um, mm. I think I did well in this one, so um, it it eases things out for me a little bit. Uh, but yeah, Jabi played exceptionally well. Uh, I, I I got hit by all of those overheads, which <laughs> I wasn't ready for. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah, but he played really well. I mean, to bring it back from losers, um, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, there was quite a quite a lot of. I mean, Jabi shot down quite a few of the, your approaches today. You know, every time you try to drive rush in or drive rush cancel in, he's always been ready with the mm -hmm. the ex yeah. mixer or something like that. You know, anytime you try to jump, he's been able to shut that down. So, but I mean, yeah. still every single time when you, it's like, oh, you know, it's it's probably towards the end of the round now, and then I don't know where you find that from. I don't know where you find the ability to to. Yeah, bring it's that never back. over until it's over, man. <laughs> <laughs> well well done well done to you uh big ups to you second place is definitely in the tournament we had today definitely not a, a and especially since you said you're only able to play in four it does make your yeah. life a lot easier you know yeah. right um jabby let me let me come to the chat <laughs> the chat the chat <laughs> how are you doing over there man I'm pretty good. I'm pretty excited. You know, to be honest, um, heading into this tournament, I wasn't that confident as I normally am. You know, I was confident I was going to do well, but I wasn't that confident in taking it because I've been having a character crisis. I see. You see, I'm see. just waiting for Terry. At the, you know, everybody has their character. I'm just waiting for Terry. You I know, see, I but see. the one thing I gotta give. Um, so I, I made I made a lot of mistakes, but I think that's also attributed to me not really. Focusing on one character, you know, mm -hmm. uh, but the one thing I, I got to, you know, I couldn't stop uh, tapping my, uh, giving myself a, a, a well played was when it mattered most, you know, the experience, the tournament experience showed up, you know, like, yeah. for example, at the yeah. end where Mark jump and I anti it, you know, some people might have been very scared because we both have low health and I had to calculate and say, OK, you know what, his drive rage is coming back. He's buffering. He's afraid of the drive impact. You know, so I just need to just be patient a bit. The minute he stopped buffering, I press drive impact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I saw that one as well, and I wasn't ready. I got hit with it too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I knew the panicking there. When I saw the buffers, I'm like, yeah. okay, this is going to happen. So I can't just drive, drive rush, because if I drive rush, it's going to do super. You know, I was thinking, yeah. I'm like, I can probably jump because... At this point, he's just looking for the drive impact. But when I saw him walk forward, I'm like, nah, he's not buffering. Mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, and the, the, you know, you were talking about the experience and you can definitely see it when it comes to like just the consistency, you know, the consistency as the matches progressed, um, it was like very difficult for Mark to just create like or create any sort of like opportunities because you were ready if in most, of, in many of the situations that most people would you know let's slide things like a casual little drive rush in or a casual jump or something like that 
you were ready to shut those down each and every time. And I, those are, it, it's, it can be frustrating, you know, and it can, it, it takes a lot of, it takes a lot to work through that kind of thing. So yeah, really big ups to you for playing so well today as well, you know, coming from, I mean, I have to ask what happened in that match against, um, against Mac. Mac. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, even when I was talking to the guys, I did say the matchup that people need to really prepare is against Mac. Because yeah. we don't have that many sims, you know. Mm, yeah. so I didn't know which character to go with. You know, the last time I played a really good sim was like six to eight months ago in season one. Yeah. You see, so I didn't know which character to prepare. And the last time I played him, I, play, I, I was beating him with Chan Li. But, you know, when you know that the matchup is not good, so you don't want to really risk it in tournament. So I started with Kenny. Mm. And... I made some mistakes, and then I switched to DJ. I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm more versus this matchup I, from season one with DJ. I won the first game. I won the round. The, in third game, I won the first round with the perfect. So I'm thinking to myself, okay, I just need one more round. And he hit me with a setup I haven't seen, a teleport behind with the fireball in front. I'm like, damn. <laughs> you know, he played really well. I, need to, I really need to um, give him credit. You know, yeah, he, played, yeah. he played really He prepared um, for me pretty well because even when i tried to throw him all of a sudden he's doing in, um, instant drill so he's beating mm. my throws like he's getting the punish count i'm yeah. like what i've never seen this guy do this you yeah. know even when he was playing online like i did check his matches i played online i didn't see him do that you know so i'm yeah. like oh damn he really yeah. came prepared for this one you know yeah. when he hit me with that setup i was like ah ggs <laughs> i see i see oh that is very interesting and uh, yeah, you know, I mean, he ha has always had a very strong Dalsim. I think even in SF5, uh, yeah, it, 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 he played Dalsim over there as well. And um, it's like you say, we don't have that many. I think there's another uh, Dalsim player from Mauritius. We haven't didn't see any. Uh, no, Ramad. Ramad, yes, that's I think right. He that's plays Luke now. Luke and Akuma. He doesn't play Dalsim that much. Oh, okay. Well, that is interesting because I, yeah, he's is uh, I didn't see him in the in the event uh, today or didn't see anybody from Mauritius. So, I mean, you know, we'll see. We'll see what other what other characters people might still have out there. You know, the the regions have expanded a little bit. So, yeah, it was just nice to see overall, you know. But big ups to you. Great performance today. I know it was a lot of work. And, uh, and just like with Mark, uh, takes a load off winning the first event it means you know yeah. you only need to win two more and then you're you're good <laughs> you know i was saying i was talking to my to my guy here sticks you know uh, he's, my, he's my manager gg yeah. i was saying to him, like me i'm looking to do well in the first three so that yeah. when terry comes out i don't care if the last if the last two i play bad at least i'll have tournament experience with terry yeah you see yeah. Yeah. so i was i'm looking to do well in these ones so this was a very important win you know, because I don't want to now, when Terry comes out, I'm like, ah, oh, damn. Do I really want to risk it, you know? Yeah. So, yeah, I also got to give a shout out to um, everybody, who, everybody who showed up. Like, it's a, um, it's really something when, when you don't have that many DQs. You have guys actually playing, participating, you know? And you also have guys showing up to the party, like, shout out to Juju Bean. He's my gatekeeper. You know, he gatekeeps <laughs> people. Um, and shout out to also the top eight, you know? Mark played well. Sunny played well. You know, um, Mars, shout out to him as well for really, um, you know, try pushing his scene as well. You know, yeah. so shout out to the guys who, everybody who played, you know, it's really great to see guys coming to the party. You know, it really does make the tournament experience better. For sure. For sure. I couldn't have said it better myself. So, yeah, guys, absolutely uh, big ups to all three of you guys. I'll be in touch with you guys for, you know, rising and all of that. Um, but yeah, thank you so much to you three and everyone in the top eight for putting on an amazing show. Um, all the best, all the best. Thank you so much. No, appreciate it for hosting. Yeah, cheers, guys. Thanks for hosting as well. Cheers, cheers. All right, all right. Cheers, guys. Woo, all right, folks. We reached that time. It's the end of the road. It's over, at least for today. Uh, yeah, I want to say thanks to each and every one of you dudes that came in and played in Get Watch today. I want to say thank you to each and every one of you that viewed the stream. I and mean, I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. I know I've said that several times, but I really mean it. I really, really mean it. 
And yeah, please, please, please make sure that you come through for Get Wash number two on the 27th of July. Make sure that you register and play again, right? There's still so many more events for you to get in there and get those points, right? You want to make those points. You want to get in there and make it work, right? Um, make your way into that, you know, regional final. So get in there, register. Get everybody that you know that plays SS6 to jump on and play as well. Um, because, yeah, we want to see the bracket keep growing and growing and growing and show our presence here in the southern parts of Africa, right? All of those regions, I want to see players from each and every one of those regions come out, or each and every one of those countries um, in the region come out and play, right? So, yeah. Other than that, folks, thank you so much to everybody also thanks to the the team the team at the back there that's been keeping the the <laughs> the stream going i'm just out here chatting but we've got Ocket, we've got uh rep and we've got uh Pombed and monday who was off today we we'll get him on you get him uh to work next time for sure <laughs> uh we got everybody up there um running everything in the back end that just makes things a little bit easier uh, for me on the stream uh, over here, right? So big ups to the um, RSE stuff. Uh, but yeah, guys, for me, that's going to be the end. Take care, and I'll see you uh, next time. GG's.